morning everyone i'm hoping you can see me okay today um we have a tiny tiny little bit of blue sky outside which is quite incredible um and i'll put that other light on you might be able to see it a bit better now this is cara brandon's gnome kit now obviously i got this when i first started to come back into crafting you know after the covid and it's finished at last <laughs> but obviously if you would like to make things ready for next year or you're looking at christmas in july which loads of people love doing christmas in july this kit is wonderful absolutely lovely it's just right up my alley this one um it's actually going to my grandson levi's girlfriend um he's 15 and she's 16 so you know we're really really quite excited about that so let me show you the kit first the pages are absolutely lovely. I mean, most of us love gnomes, don't we? I'll try not to wiggle my hands around too much today because of the shadows. Absolutely beautiful. I did have to print some of these a couple of times because um, our internet has been absolutely, well, dire here. Absolutely dire. Um, and, of course, they have great big lines down them. But these are just so fun. They really are. I just absolutely love them. Look at that one. They're both eating all their cookies. Beautiful backing papers. I love backing papers. They're so useful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous and fun. How fun is this one? Like all, the, all the gnomies on it. Okay, and then she's made some fab pockets. And you can print them, you know, if you print them with the tick on and they'll tick off, you get bigger pockets and smaller pockets which is really useful i love that tag journaling cards and more, more tags aren't they fab i just love the color color combination she's used this one's got to be my favorite i love that wee birdie and then as always cara does the small ones and then there's some more gorgeous journaling cards there and lots and lots of ephemera now i love this i really do now the wonderful thing about these are or is put me, get me english right one thing thing about this is is that you can now use this if you get both kits with the next one let me show you so let me move that one out of the way this is our ornament kit how fun is this so you make ornaments and their pockets okay you can see here's the pocket in the front and she gives you a lovely backing paper to go on the back now this is a small size though i've printed these at this size and also two to a page and obviously this size you could easily hang on a tree if you wanted to to do do that they're absolutely fab and i thought these would make a wonderful garland Oops. <laughs> look at this ephemera isn't it fun i just love it absolutely love it absolutely incredible oh that's the backing paper again and that's the backing paper for these now obviously i've done these the two sizes so you print this two to a page and this one two to a page and this one two to a page and you get the diddy ones so that's the, the ornament kit and obviously i'll get them linked down below and if you're wanting to start on next year's or you're still doing your december journal this is you know you could have these now here's my gorgeous journal now what i've done with this journal is it's got all the car and stuff in it you know all that i've just shown you and then i've got some lovely bits from paulette you know tlc creates now, Paulette hasn't actually got a shop at the moment. So if you want any of the kits, if you message her, you know, go, go to the group and message her. She will give you a link and it will cut it comes through to PayPal and you just PayPal and then you get the kit through. Really, really easy. And if you want to sign up for this month's club, um, you know she gives you so many images each month. They're absolutely amazing. Copyright free, you know, you haven't got to worry about anything like that. And they're absolutely gorgeous. She also gives you some of her own work. So you'll get backing papers, tags and that that she's made. Wonderful. It was about $8 this month. 
and that works out about six pound fifty here because we have to pay VAT, but it's still you know incredible price. It, it was it was less than seven pound. I know that much, and I will show you. And I I also went on to Raw Pixel. I got a couple of pictures off of Raw Pixel and something else I'll show you in a minute and that come from LOC the Library of Congress so I've popped uh dingle dangles on the front because I thought that would be so much fun to have a dingle dangle on the front because it's you know it's Christmas I want something really pretty and nice for her you know something sort of a bit different um the spine as you can see it's quite a large book she's a she's a big one this one these are three bits of the ephemera of Cara's I'm hoping you can see them because obviously it looks like I'm going to have to come up a bit. Right, I'm just going to hopefully not make you feel sick and I'll come up a bit. You should be able to get it all in now, yeah. So they're three pieces of Cara's Ephemera. Do you think I need to go up a wee bit more? Yeah, I think I do. Because she's a big lady. So I'm going to just take that off the front so that we can see. So this is one of Paula's, Paulette's. Now, this club that I've got all these images that I'm going to show you is the April... 2021 uh club kit okay so if you really want them i'll write it down below which club kit it is i've got all these images from and paulette can sort that out for you i mean obviously she was on zibit and they just closed zibit down as they do and uh with her moving and so much going on she doesn't have a store at the moment but i know she'll she'll sort that out when she has time to do it so here's my big chunky monkey. Let's just move my mouse out of the way. And I'm hoping, yeah, I still think I need to go up a wee bit more, don't I? Gosh, you are a big girl. Yeah, you should be able to see her properly now. Right, <laughs> that was fun. Right, this paper here, okay, that I've made all my pockets out, is this one. Now, this is a page that Paulette has, has, has made. And what I did with this one is obviously I printed it for to a page. And that's how I got all my pockets in the book. You know, uh, other than Cara's pockets, you know, that come from the kit. Then I've made a couple of little ornaments at the front. That one there I've kept quite simple. Merry Christmas. And then this one, I had fun with these. And I, because they were going to be ornaments, I've actually stuck them in. I've actually glued them in. But the ones that haven't, these, I've not glued in, as you can see, because obviously they're in a journal. So, you, you know, you like it to be quite kinetic and, you know, to have fun with things. Uh, I've put some bags in. in here. That's one of Cara's uh, journaling cards. It's in there. I try to make this fun. Now, here's your next thing. And that is really, really vintage old lace. It's In fact, it's antique lace. And it comes from Windsor. Um, you know, Windsor Castle area, you know, the shop down there that came from, and you could actually see the unreal rusty marks from the pins, where it was obviously pinned to keep it together in a wudge. <laughs> and so I've used that on there, because that was a scrap that I had. Now, these envelopes are absolutely fun, gorgeous, and lovely. Look at them. And they're done in the coin envelope style which is so easy to put together, isn't it? And uh, if I stick that back on there, I will show you all of these shortly, okay? So you can see all the different envelopes together in one. So a couple of these I've actually just popped a little paper clip on because, uh, you know, sometimes things like to travel when you're flipping through a journal. I've got lots of dyed paper in here and I've left loads of room for her to actually write in, add pictures of her and, you know, it's, you know, it's, they're at that age where they take loads and loads and loads of photos, don't they? Uh, this little guy here sitting on the fence, I'll know me here. He is from, again, the April Club. And this is our chorus. A little snowman came from her ephemera in the kit. A little pocket in here. He is. He says, Hi, I'm coming in to say hello. Isn't that blue gorgeous? I just love that blue. I really do. I think it's a fabulous blue. 
and then that's one of the big ones so you can see the difference in size you know the big ones really are big you know they're fab they really are absolutely lovely they're, they're so fun for a journal and for making decorations with and then a couple of more journaling cards here again that's a club image in there trying to get the bow up the top with a little hat on he's gonna be a right gentleman on the town i wonder if he's related to our guy from the houses because he had a lovely hat on like that didn't he <laughs> and yes she got lots and lots of crafting done when he went to work only trouble was is when he came home he threw his coat in the corner slung his shoes down Plonked himself on the couch and asked her to go and make him a cup of tea. As if he'd been working hard all day and she hadn't. <laughs> You're all nodding your head yet. We know, we know. Here, um, I've used bits of Paulette's paper. You know, the, the, this one with the Nomi on. If you, if you look at the, the... I've used bits of that. Um, to make a couple of little pockets. Now, these flinch cards are all Paulettes. And I've, I've used them up about three or four times, I think, in different journals, because I just love them so much. And then she has these lovely, lovely cards here as well. And you've got sledges and skates and all sorts. Holly, and there's a scarf there. They're absolutely gorgeous. And there's a couple of the little tiny, tiny tags. The little tiny tags, you don't want to do much with them. So I've just popped a bit of that matte paper that I had left over from making other things. And there's a Merry Christmas in matte paper on that one. And we've got another little card in here. That way around's better, isn't it? Oops. I think this is just lovely. Look at it. It's got his gingerbread house there. It's, just, it's a herd, isn't it? Because probably the gnomes, they all look the same, don't they? <laughs> and again, these are the club images. I wasn't intending on doing such a big journal. Right, these images here are from Cara's uh, Friday freebie from two weeks ago. And I will link Cara's group. If you go in, there's a big page and these images are on it and i just thought that just made just a fun little page you know just to stick them on them and use them in there and then this is hmm, are we stuck i think we are that's what happens when you shove them in your journal when it's still a bit wet that's that lovely big one and i stuck a ho 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 on that one there aren't they lovely a bit of ephemera on the front they look fab a little bit just a, all you need is a little bit of lace or paper on things and there's another one of paulette's gorgeous um envelopes i'll turn him around so you can see them properly his pipe in his mouth <laughs> and some uh vintage lace there and a little bit this this was just a tiny tiny little bit that i had left over of a, a laser cut Ornaments. Another card in there. There's a lot in this, I'm afraid. That's another image from Paulette. And our car is gorgeous tag. And that's part one. Now, here, this is an envelope. Um, it's an envelope, and then I've covered the envelope, you know, to make an envelope. <laughs> Of envelopes around here it was one of these now i was getting this toucan box it's for the grandkids it comes with art displays in and all the time you will get one of these envelopes and it has vouchers in it you know and go and get this for 15 percent off and all the rest of it it's always things you don't want but <laughs> you still get it so on the front again we've got the flinch cards we've got the tiny little tags more of these lovely little cards here. There's a lovely sledge there, isn't there? Um, and again, up the top. I won't go through all of them because you'll be here till next Christmas. And then in here, this is the bit I wanted to show you. Oops. Come on. Let's see. In here. 
I'm going to have to turn it around to pull it out. Right. This. Now, I was gobsmacked when I found this. Dance of the Gnomes. I hope you can see that really well. Yeah. Dance of the Gnomes. And it's a wonderful music sheet, Dance of the Gnomes. And it's in the Library of Congress. Okay. Um, and I've got the lot. You know, all four pages. The whole lot of the, of the music. And... I thought that was a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. It's the way you've got his name written at the top and the stamp at the bottom who sold it, you know. I thought that was absolutely wonderful. So I've popped that in there. And then here, these absolutely stunning, gorgeous pages are from Natalie. You know, line dot arrow. And these are gorgeous. And they come from the same books that I've got, but obviously mine are in English. And they came out every week for a while. You know, World of the Gnomes and Story of the Gnomes. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So I've popped them in there as well. So they can be in their own little safe space. Where's that cord there? Let's just tie you back up so you're not flappy. Okay. And then we'll have a little tag here. As I love that birdie. I won't go, I'll try to be a little bit, I think that one's empty, that one. I didn't fill them all completely up. And there's another one of the envelopes. Every now and again, shout at me to keep my hands down so you can see. <laughs> lovely images now this one is an image from the library of congress okay that's one from the no it's not that's raw pixel sorry that's a raw pixel one and it's fab isn't it it's a raw pixel image and then that's one of paulette's again isn't that fun i love that with a little axle lovely and this is one of paulette's from the same april club she made that fabulous gnome tag, so I thought I'd stick that into a big, big doily. As I say, I've put lots of lace on these, which just tiny little bit. I mean, it only takes two minutes, doesn't it? But it just makes a total difference to what you're doing. It just brings everything together. And this was not meant to be a huge, great big journal. <laughs> I kind of got carried away with it. What happened was I did the first signature and that's what I was going to do was one signature. And then I thought, right, well, I'll go in, on a hunt to find something to make the cover with. And obviously the amount of times they've told me they're coming to do this bathroom, it's now getting really, really stupid. Um, just show you these quick these are poor uh, these are cara's numbers her gnome numbers um that you could use anywhere but they were done specifically for the gnome journal so that you could do a december daily if you wanted to or, or number your number your pages and i used them in, a, in another journal the one that i did for my mum which she's already got the um frosty the snowman uh, but that's a Friday freebie as well. So I'll, I'll do those in a minute. Anyway, going back to the bathroom. So what I did was um, I couldn't find any cardboard that I would be suitable for doing a journal cover. Um, because obviously I knew the fabric was coming. And so what I did, this I'd already tail earmarked to make a journal for Linda Israel. I've already got the three signatures done. And this was going to be perfect for it. So <laughs> I then decided to do it like this, to do another signature and do the envelope in the middle. There was no way I could have done a three signature, not the size of these signatures. <laughs> I've been there for another month. Yeah, and that's that one is raw pixel again. I can't remember where they all came from. Fab. But it, it's just such a fun, lovely journal. It really is. It's just a shame that with me not being well with this long COVID, it's taken such a long time to get it finished off. <coughs> There's another one again. And that's one of Paulette's again. 
um, another one of her lovely envelopes. I mean, Cara works so well on this. I, I mean, you can see she absolutely loved making this kit, can't you? That's um, raw pixel image as well of the Nomis. It's, I say it, it's just wonderful. I love, I love the bird. Absolutely love the bird in this. And then another lot of these with your little tags and your flinch cards and everything in there. Um, yeah, that's a flinch card. Now that paper at the back there, this one that I've used on the backing, is this one. It's like a candy stripe. It's a shears, all the pages go together. This candy stripe paper is actually from Lydia, um, Raindrop Lydia. Um, I'll find the kit that it's come from. It's one of the, you know, she does papers and envelopes, everything sort of separate. And I'll find that for you. But it just worked perfectly in this journal to have that on the back. It really did. Oh, I can't even find them now. Lost them. There we are. They just married up perfectly for all the different cards. You know, for the different flinch, flinch cards and with the colouring of the gnomes. Because um, I just wanted something a little bit different. Another ornament. Uh, I cannot remember what I popped in here. I really can't. Oh. Come off, come off, come off. Oh, yeah. Now, these are the extra pockets that I made. And I thought, right, I'm going to keep them in here. And then when... Zoe comes to make her album. If she wants more pockets, they're there. She can use them to, you know, put whatever she likes in. It'll just be nice to give her the extra little bits. And then there's two more of the ornaments at the back. Okay, that stuck down there. And of course, these are stuck because they're. But what I was thinking, can you imagine if you did a double sided one? You know, put the, you know, two together like this. If you did two together so that they could actually twirl, um, you know, there would be fab hung up from something, you know, a shelf or from a kid's ceiling or something. I thought there would be so much fun. And, and kids would just love to put them together. They would absolutely love that, putting them together, wouldn't they? They really would. So that's my super chunky, rather late, rather gorgeous, Nomi journal. I'm still not sure about this, this sari silk, whether I like it or not. The colour goes perfectly, but I'm not 100% sure whether I like it or not yet. <laughs> I haven't made my mind up. I've not had a bright, sunny day to have a proper look at it. But there's our Nomi journal. So let me just show you very, very quickly um, the gorgeous envelopes from our Paulette. Help your hand, right? Try to get my hands in the way too much. But they are just so lovely. They really are. They just they just added something fun to Cara's your journal, you know. Because obviously I would have just used her kit, and then suddenly <laughs> I had a lot more pages to fill out. Look at his face. Aren't they fun? And then two ones on the side. I've got two side ones. So guys, I hope you like him because I think he's absolutely fab. I think um, grandkids would love them, you know. Uh, the ornaments, I think they would have so much fun making up and using, um, you know, uh, at Christmas time. You know, if, if, you, if they're old enough to cut out the, the elements themselves, brilliant. If they're not, maybe you could, you know, cut them out for them and then... They can, um, you know, come along and they can just put the bits together and string them up somewhere, you know. Um, can you imagine making a little garland for their door and stringing them up on a piece of string just on the front of their door? Um, anything like that. I mean, the kids would just have so, so much fun. So if you want to get ahead for next year, this is the thing to do. Or if you want to use it for that wonderful time when everybody's doing the uh, Christmas in July, and while I'm thinking of Christmas in July, Tracy, our lovely Tracy Fox, um, you know, we've flashed these more times than I can say. You know, Tracy did the, the 21 day, you know, the 24 days leading up to Christmas in the group. And we had so much fun doing these. 
Well, this kit is going to be out for Christmas in July. Okay, so you can buy the whole complete kit, that huge kit I showed you the other day will be out, you know, the one that I showed you when I did the houses, it will be out in time for Christmas in July, which again is a perfect time to do these, you know, um, and I can imagine that loads and loads of people will love to make them. I love that Tracy does the interactive type kits you know that you can have fun with it's proper paper craft isn't it and then she's also doing the journal work you know it, it is lovely um because i love paper crafts always have done and i know most of you do too anyway guys i hope you enjoy this gorgeous great big fat chunky monkey i'll let you know what our zoe thinks of it i think it's going to be because she didn't know what a journal was um they came to visit me the pair of them going back about a month before Christmas and um she had no idea what this was you know and the thing is that they walk in my bedroom and my bedroom is my craft space and you know Levi's saying oh my mum's my nana's gonna make you one of these journals and she's like you know panic stricken wondering what the heck we were talking about <laughs> so it'll be a new adventure for her my uh daughter-in-law Becca with the two wee ones, Niall and um, Violet. She's started bullet journaling. Great fun. So, you know, she, she's coming along with in the family as well. She's got addicted. Um, so that is just incredible. And my mum on Frosty the Snowman, she absolutely loved the journal. She didn't know it was coming. She hadn't seen the video because my dad's been quite poorly and so is she. Um, she actually got taken to hospital a month ago. All the catheters came out, uh, so the cannulas came out, um, you know, from her, like, her liver and her kidney and that, and, you know, she had to get rushed in the hospital. Um, but she absolutely lovely, because obviously it was a surprise of getting it because she didn't even know it was coming. And uh, she went through it the first time and then she says, I'm going to have to go through it again because I can't, you know, I'm going to have to go through it, go through it slowly and then I can enjoy it. And then she came back two days later and was talking about the different things that she'd seen and how much she loved it. And she loved the article on, um, you know, right at the back, the cards about all the Victorian birthday cards and Christmas cards. She loved that. So it was perfect. I put it in the right place. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for being here, guys. I've got a lot of videos to do. Today. I've got about four to do today to try and catch up a bit. They are coming on uh, Wednesday to do my bathroom. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Let's just hope that nothing happens between now and then, because at the moment they're planning on coming and doing it. It's going to be full scale. Uh, two joists have to come out my bathroom floor downstairs is ceiling I'm just not sure what they're going to do with all the stuff in the middle because it was built in the 70s and in the 70s your floorboards in the middle they would put clinker now clinker is what would be left when your fire died out you know you'd have your fire made of coal and bits of wood and that and whatever was left at the bottom the ashes and the bits of whatever was in there that is what they've used to fill in between the two bits you know in between the floor and the ceiling and uh this is a very very old-fashioned way of doing it and it's it was it was soundproofing that's what it was i mean obviously this used to be an old police house so you know they obviously had to stop you know get the noise cut down a bit <laughs> maybe because the room next door which is now my kitchen, you can actually see when I took the wallpaper off where they used to play darts. So that room used to actually be their like um, stuff room, you know, where they would go and have their cup of tea and what have you know, go with darts. <laughs> Life of the police. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing new year. Um, I pray that you will have such a much better one the last two years that we've had, that you get much happiness and joy in your lives. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.